here are four letters from the word math m a t h and the question is this if all rearrangements are written as in a dictionary which means they are written in the alphabetical order what's the rank of the word math that's the question so let's break this down what the question is saying is well there are a lot of words that you can form by rearranging the letters of this word math well we can find that by building some boxes we have four ways to put the first letter three ways for the next and then two and then one so all in all we have 24 ways to rearrange the letters of the word math which means we have 24 words now if you arrange those words in the alphabetical order what's the first word going to be well let's see we have to start with the smallest one we have a and then after a we have h and then we have m and then t so a h m t whatever this word is this is going to be the first word in this dictionary and what's going to be the last word well it's going to be the exact opposite of this one so 24th word will be t m h a that's going to be our last word so if the rank of a h m t is 1 and the rank of t m h a is 24 what's the rank of the word math that's the question now if you want to give this a shot pause the video try it yourself okay so let's do this together and again this is something new so before we go fast let's go really really slow all right so let's figure this one out together we have m a t and h and we have 24 words that can be formed by rearranging this let's list all of them down these are our 24 words six of them start with a six of them start with h six of them start with m and then six of them start with the letter t evenly balanced okay can we see where math is so we'll go to m and then a m a t h this is where math is and what's the rank we have 6 here and then 6 here and 1 and 1 2 so 6 plus 6 12 plus 2 14 the rank of math is 14th and we figured it out now this is probably the slowest approach to figure this out write all of these down and then figure out where math is but now that we have written this down can we think of some parts of this solution that we can accelerate that we can fast track can we speed this up think about it do we really need to list all of these words down to figure out how many words start with a if you fix a here we're left with these three letters and they can rearrange themselves in six ways and that's something we know so why don't we use it to figure out the number of words so let's redo the same problem but this time we'll not write all of these words down so we have m a t and h if we are creating a dictionary we'll first have the words that start with a then we'll have the words that start with h and then comes m and finally we have t so how many of these words will start with a so if we fix a we left with the other three letters so we have these three boxes to fill and we have three different letters so this can be done in 3 times 2 times 1 that's six ways so we have six words that start with a similarly we have six words that start with h and now we are at m and this is where we want to be let's see what the first word is so after m the smallest letter is a and then we have h and then we have t m a h t we are very close to math the next word is m a t and h that's it this is what we want so 6 plus 6 plus 1 plus 1 which is equal to 14 so the rank of the word math is actually 14 so first we did this in slow motion and then we figured out what parts of our process can be accelerated can be sped up let's practice this skill on a different problem okay here we have the word again a g a i n and the question is if all rearrangements are written as in a dictionary find the 50th word so pause the video think about it okay first things first how many total words do we get we have five letters so 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 but two of them are same so we'll make some corrections so we'll divide it by 2 into 1 this turns out to be 60 So in total we have 60 words and we are looking for the 50th word. My guess is that it probably starts with n. It starts with n because n is the biggest letter here, but I can't put my finger on what that actual word is. For that we need math. So let's start building our dictionary. Let's start with the words that start with a. So how many words begin with a? So if you fix one of these a's, what are we left with? We're left with a and then i, g and n. these four letters 
how many ways to rearrange these four letters? Well, all of them are different. So four times, three times, two times, one. This gives us 24. So there are 24 words that start with A. What's going to be next? The next letter is G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And how many words start with G? Let's see. We have A, A, I, and N. These are the leftover letters. If we rearrange them, how many words do we get? So that's 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. But we have to make room for correction because we have two A's. So divide this by 2. We get 12 words. So there are 12 words that start with G. Next comes I. So how many words start with I? Let's see the leftovers. We have A, A, G, and N. This is very similar to A, A, I, N. So we'll get 12 words here as well. Let's see where we are. 24 plus 12, 36 plus 12, 48. We're very close to 50. We can actually manually count. What comes next? Well, we're done with A, G, I. The only letter left is N. So this word will start with N. Let's write that down. We have N. And now in ascending order, we have A, A, G, and I. That's our 49th word. And the next one will be the 50th one. So it'll be N, A, A. G and I will switch places. It'll be I and G. That's the next word. So our 50th word is N, A, A, I, G, Nike whatever that means. All right, let's solve one more. This is our problem, examination. The letters of the word examination are rearranged and they're written as in a dictionary. And the question is, how many words come before the first word starting with E? Pause the video, think about it. Okay, lots of letters. Let's put them in the increasing order first. We have A, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, I, there's one more I, J, K, L, M, N, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, yes, we have T, and then we have X, that's it. So now we have arranged the letters in order. Let's see. When we're making a dictionary, we'll start with words that start with A. When we're done with A, we'll move to E, and then I, and then M, and then so on. So we need to find the words that come before this E. Well, this means we're only looking at words that start with A. Because as soon as we're done with A, the next word will start with E. So we want to count the words before that. This means the question is indirectly saying, count the words that start with A. So let's do that. If you freeze one of these A's, what are the leftovers? We have A, E, I, I, M, N, N, O, T, X. How many ways to rearrange them? Well, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 different letters. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we'll make room for correction. We have two I's and two N's. So divide by 2, divide by 2. And if you simplify, you'll get some 9 lakh words, approximately. So there are roughly 9 lakh words that begin with A when we are rearranging the letters of the word examination.